Hi, how's it going today? It's Thomas Steed here. Just wanted to do another video right quick, but before we get into it, like, share, subscribe, comment in the comment section and down in my description. There will be two links in this video. First one will be the donation link to my Streamlabs. If you'd feel so kind and generous and you enjoy the content that I'm putting out, I enjoy making it. Consider throwing me a couple of bucks. I got, you know, family and products to do videos on are not free, typically. Unless somebody's sending me something to do reviews on, and that's not all that often since I'm not that big of a channel yet. So, consider on throwing me a couple of bucks. Definitely helps. Um, the other link that'll be on will be actually my uh, direct link from uh, Packas. Like, once you... Uh, subscribe and you make your own uh you know membership on their website or whatever when you do an order they uh have a a link that you can use and it adds points so uh, the more points you get you get percentages off so you get deals on um, further orders and my next order is going to be for the kids and the wife so the more points i can get towards saving money the better because you know I like saving money. Well, let's get on with this. So, packas. These are uh, alpaca wool blended socks. They are 42% alpaca, 28% acrylic, 27% nylon, 3% spandex. You can machine wash on cold. Do not bleach. Do not wring. You can tumble dry on low heat. I would not advise it myself just because it's a wool sock and the more you run it through the dryer, it really does shorten the life on it compared to just taking it out of the washer and hanging them to let them dry because they are kind of a waterproof, uh, so they don't really soak up a bunch of water into the fiber and so they don't get all crusty and crunchy when they dry out. So it's much more effective in the long run to just hang dry them honestly um and do not iron and you know just kind of think that makes sense they've got that spandex and nylon and acrylic in there you go and stick an iron on one of these it's gonna melt um i do wish that it was a little bit higher blend of alpaca wool but you know that's something that you know that company might end up putting out later on I've noticed some of the other products that they do offer on their website do have higher uh, blends of alpaca wool in them so that's most likely something might assume we'd be seeing coming in the future is uh, higher blends of alpaca wool socks now these are the most comfortable socks that I've ever put on my feet and that's comparing them to an 80 percent merino wool blend that I've got from Red Wings and, you know, I don't know if you all pay attention to socks and you guys are dedicated to, you know, good quality socks like some people are. But when you're wearing nicer shoes and boots and stuff like that, it's nice to, uh, to have a better sock that, you know, breathes, it removes moisture, you don't get the swampy foot. It's just nice because, you know... As they describe them here, they are buttery soft. They are soft as cashmere, uh, but they are non-itchy and hypoallergenic. Hypoallergenic, eco-friendly and sustainable, thermal-regulating, and waterproof. That doesn't mean that you're going to stand in a bucket of water and your feet aren't going to get wet. It just means that when you do that, the socks ain't going to soak up a bunch of water and be saturated that's what they mean by it um, <clears throat> now when it comes to the thermal regulating basically what that means is that they are breathable and they will wick moisture in the summer heat keeping your foot regulated in its temperature and in the winter they're going to be warmer keeping your feet regulated they're thermal regulating <clears throat> pretty cool company they're marketed more so towards women I mean honestly but they do have men's lines uh, they're, they kind of got, you know, a little, little bit of a, uh, sense of humor 
as a company. You know, uh, you know, once you go alpaca, you won't go abaca. Um, they've got, you know, some other statements inside of the packaging. They are on Instagram, Facebook, and then packas.us. They got their regular website. Uh, what else? Spoil your feet. But, in all, they're fantastic socks. And I definitely advise it because, you know, as much as I like my Red Wing uh, socks uh, with the merino wool in them, they're a little more expensive. And, you know, I'd compare those with, you know, quality-wise with, you know, the darn tough socks I've I haven't owned any darn tough socks myself, but that's because of their price point. Darn tough socks are, for the cheapest ones, you're still looking at like 25 bucks a pair, and the really nice ones are upwards of like 35 bucks a pair, and that just, it doesn't make sense to me to spend $35 for a pair of socks, so with this, I got six pairs for like 72, so that's like two and a half pairs of darn tough socks compared to six of these absolutely soft lovely socks I bet you they're gonna last quite some time if they fell within the first like couple of months you'll definitely be the first to know I will be on here with a video telling you that I am upset but I don't see that happening they, they seem like pretty well constructed well made they don't have any kind of a funky seam in the toe that you feel bugging you all day nothing like that they're comfortable they keep your feet dry I even wear them sleeping half the time how about that um, yeah so consider on uh, using these I'll have a link directly uh, in the description of this to uh, go and order use my link get me some points so I can buy some socks for my kids other than that, there will also be that link in the description if you want to throw me a couple of bucks. Just, you know, because you're feel, feeling charitable. Um, like, share, subscribe, comment in the comment section. That's pretty much all I got to say on this one when it comes to all that. Um, oh, yeah. If anybody from Pacos is actually watching this video, just some pointers some ideas for you guys you know expand your guys horizons throw out some knee-high socks throw out some regular uh low cut crews you know that that mid length you guys have the low cuts and then you have the no shows and you got toddler socks you got all you got quite a bit out there but you got a couple other things that you can do you can do toe socks women love toe socks knee-high toe socks for the ladies out there anyways thank you all for your time you have a good one Peace. Hope you all had a good 4th of July.